basically, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big rock of man, dude. <laughs> Yo, guys, we're back on Waffling. <laughs> now, obviously, this week has been really funny because like people are just like laying in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they doing that? To insulate oh, Britain. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I thought you went crazy for a second. No, no, no. You know the people that are just literally laying down in the road? The delusional roads? idiots that are causing a ruckus on M25. Correct. Co completely pointless. Well... They take, no, it is. I'm sorry, but it is. Like, I think... Inbreds. And this is... <laughs> the this lot is, of them. This is think the of, no, that uh, no, caused, right? no, no, no. I'm not having this, okay? They are protesting for climate change. I get it. It's a great cause. No, they're not. They, they're protesting for leaking houses. No, they're not. Insulate Britain. No. What? They want the house. <laughs> they want, they say you, the best. Well, they no, These aren't are climate change. change. These ones aren't climate change. Yes, are they, they are. They want, that, they want every home in Britain to be insulated because it's the most effective way to, to like cut carbon emissions. Okay, they're not actually inbred, so they're just annoying. Um, well, you've already <laughs> said it now, mate. You might as well firm it. Yeah, no, basically they're doing it all wrong. They're targeting innocent people and sorry and ruining people's lives, like literally ruining people's lives. People well, are not. Ruining, they are ruining people's days, like. lives, mate. People Think have died, dying. like so. There are there are people in hospital. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you continue <laughs> laughing, mate. Right, so people, no, I you were no, mate. <laughs> It's not a funny joke anyway. No, 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 you'll be a distaste for it now. <laughs> no, you're taking the piss. No. What do you mean they died? No, because people... Have, you been, <laughs> Actually, boys. Oh, let me just say this. No, yeah, say it. People have been injected into hospital. Injected? injected. They're just like put in hospital. And because there's been the people laying in the road. <laughs> no, stop. This is not funny. You know I'm not meant to be laughing right now. But they... <laughs> No. no, no, we're just in a silly, goofy mood. Come on. Uh, yeah, people haven't been able to get to the hospital in time to see like their oh, actual friends oh, or okay, family, that's where you're going. and okay. they die, and then they're not not able to like. Oh, all the ambulance isn't able to get yeah, to the hospital in time, and to. that is serious, brother. That's what I was referring. Someone also, did actually die. Actually, <laughs> I remember. Oh, now that you say it, um, like a woman had like a stroke in her car, and like because she couldn't get through. Yep. Uh, oh like it, it became like fatal. I think like it was instead of like being recoverable, it was then like life changing. See, I was referring to like more of like builders can't get to work, so they don't oh, get even, paid, and then like they can't pay rent and feed their kids. And this is what I saw people saying: it's I like know people were dying. The middle class trying to convey an argument to the upper class, but only actually affecting the working class. Yeah. And um, it's true. Surely there's it's, other ways, like target the people that are in charge. Well, this is the thing, and this is my ultimate thing. This is the thing, and this is my ultimate thing. Basically, two things. <laughs> Firstly, in order to get through to people, like a message, you need to prioritise the communication. How is this message going to get received? Now, sitting in the road, making everyone angry, is not going to convince everyone to try and do efforts towards climate change. If anything, it's going to piss them off so much, yeah. they're going to want to do the opposite. I Imagine agree. if I was pissing you off, you'd do the opposite of oh, what I actually of want, course, right? So there's that. And then, then secondly, that... The average person on the street uh, isn't the person to target. No. Like you say, it's the big organisations, it's the McDonald's, the you know the the Coca Colas, the big ones Go that orchestrate a lot of. Like if they started all going electric or whatever, or if the government said you can only you know put rules in place, yeah. they're the people that need the targets to need to be targeted, not. Not it's disrupting ambulances, that, bicep, yeah, bicep. Like it's civilians. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like doing a war, but firing the missiles at civilians and not the actual enemy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's, yeah, that's, that's true. This that's is what I will say as like devil's advocate. There he goes. Their oh. argument is that well, the only way you can get the people upstairs to listen is if you like ruin people's lives. No, you start affecting the economy. So if they start affecting a, a road like the M25, which then you know, essentially shuts off business lanes, that's then stopping people make money and it's affecting the economy. So their argument is, and don't get me wrong, I'm not on their side, um, that that's the only way for them to convey their message. Do you not find it quite ironic that they're, they're blocking the motorway, but all the cars' engines are still on? Yeah, I know. Like I know. causing more pollution because they're just staying still with their engines on? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not really working to your plan, is it? It's yeah. so, like... I don't think any of us actually realise like how... Have you ever, like, stood over a bridge, uh, like, above a motorway? Yeah. Have you ever seen how fast those, like, 
all the moving traffic is. Yeah, how are they getting on the motorway, by the way? To actually, like, pluck up the courage to be like, right, I'm going to be the first one out. Yeah, I'm to be fair, that is fucking mental, like, isn't it? Like, could, you, to see a human, that's quite far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they're putting on these uh, orange high reflective vis jacket. high-vis <laughs> jackets. But, yeah, sk- sitting in the road, it's... Yeah, it's bonkers. And these people, one of them will end up dying. And uh, whose fault is it going to be? If it goes to the cops, and it's like, well, they were laying in the fucking road... Right. On the M25. Yeah, like what is the driver going to go to prison or is it going to be you know you were freaking a crackhead? No, what? I didn't mean that. Is that am I, oh gives a fuck? Listen, whose whose fault will it be if there's a PC Cooper or someone <laughs> watching right now? <laughs> please, <laughs> please let us know. Wasn't that our but school policeman? We did have a school policeman, but that is also the argument of well, yeah. Again, what if a driver does? Like fatally hit one of these individuals yeah. accidentally. Now, now they're left for the rest of their lives, Scott. having like killed someone. Oh God, yeah, God, and it's well, because they wanted to. Uh, and uh, I think we're all like in conjunction where we say, yeah, okay, maybe what they're fighting for is actually good. I yeah. think we're yeah, all on board is. with that, and I think ev- everyone that that knows what they're fighting for, is on board, but the way in which they're doing it. Yeah, because that's the thing. We obviously all, all, like, everyone in the human race, I don't think there can be anyone that's like, we want climate change to blow up the world and ruin it. Like, we all want to make that change, be positive and and do something. But it's like, how do we, I mean, we can talk on platforms like this and and reach, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, millions maybe one day, but basically... (laughs) Hundreds of thousands? Yeah. Oh, we don't get over 100k now, do we? No, but we li- do. But listen, yeah. what I'm saying is, like, yeah, what is the way to get through to people? Because doing dangerous stuff like that and pissing people off, that's evidently not working. There are some cool shit that you can do. Like, Steve-O was very good at protesting. No, it's true. He was very good at protesting against uh, SeaWorld in America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, what did he do? What did he, he do? He would just, like, sellotape himself to, like, a giant sign. And so stuff. you should do that. So we'll get Malfoy <laughs> and just put him on the M25 on, like, the, <laughs> On a sign, so the, I'm away from the traffic. The Dartford Crossing is now just Malfoy <laughs> just with his like, cock out. <laughs> <laughs> Now. No, but what I will say, Just right, Reef? No, no. boys, is <laughs> you say like you know, is it working the way they like the way they're communicating their message? Is it effective? We're all talking. We're about sat it. here talking about them. Oh. Fuck, they got us. Maybe they are part of the Illuminati. <laughs> Shut Speaking of the Illuminati, right? So over the weekend, obviously, I went to uh, Manchester. <laughs> I had a great day. <laughs> what, did you, what did you do on that day? <laughs> <laughs> no. So you went out for a. Well, what do you think of like crystals? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Listen, no. It's like burning sage. And <laughs> Kelly Ma, Kelly Ma. Wait, wait. Have you not seen him go around the house burning sage before? He thinks it, it like it actually. Yeah, does no, no. Stuff. Well, you know when I was having the flashes in my house. I'm sure, that burning candle helped. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it still didn't go. No, no, no. It's still. F- yeah, that part, of, I'm not going to lie, part of the reason, not the biggest percentage, but the part of, of the reason why I left that house and moved to London <laughs> is because of that, that flashing lights that were happening. The ghosts? Well, it's like, whatever, take the piss, whatever the <laughs> fuck you want. Mate, basically, I don't know if you saw the episodes, if you're listening or watching, um, but I was getting these mysterious flashes of blue and white light around the top floor of my house, and I tried to burn, uh, is it white sage or something, but it's meant to fucking cleanse the air. <laughs> Didn't work. Still kept, keeps happening, and this is fundamentally like <laughs> the electric. The electricity is off. Anyways, it was ever since I brought a certain crystal in the house. <laughs> it was. Well, it just was. I mean, I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but that is just a fact. <laughs> Laugh at me, <laughs> Don. Continue. Ha ha ha. No, no, no. Laugh at me. Oi, everyone. Are you watching right now? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you sound like one of them carrot readers. Carrot. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you fucking carrot. <laughs> Tarot reader. I sound like the dumb one. <laughs> Carrot. <laughs> right, oh, Rudolph. Here we go. Hold it, ours. <laughs> now we have a quick message from our friends at Beer52 who want to give each and every one of you a free case of eight beers. Now, Malfoy. Yeah? What is so good about Beer52? Let me just start off. They are some of the best beers I've ever had. And not only that, they're all different. So you're not drinking the same beer every time, getting bored maybe with it. They're different beers, and they're from all around the world. I still have my Chicago, Illinois ones. Well, Illinois, <laughs> Chicago's in Illinois. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but very, very make- good. But not only that do you get eight, eight beers in your crate, you also get snacks, a magazine. But you yeah. make a fair point, because one thing that I find with drinking beer is I get well bored going to the shop and just getting the same, like, yeah. cans same, or bottles or whatever. Yeah. Whereas this is, like, it's a different, each 
individual beer is a different beer and you will not get it in the shop. You there not. you go. Get so yourself. to get this offer, please go to beer52.com slash waffling to get your free eight beers and just pay, pay the five ninety five dollars uh, postage. Okay, we're, <laughs> perfect. Beer52.com slash waffling. Back on with the show. Anyways, while I was in Manny, fast forward to Sunday, um, and I, I was with someone. Your friend? And, and she... She? I'm giving it away. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they or <laughs> he... No. Oh, what the fuck <laughs> am I on about? <laughs> they were into crystals. And when we <clears throat> went round this sort of like um, island that was in... in <laughs> 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 that was in a super uh, shopping centre. They were selling um, these crystal stuff, and we went near one corner of it, and we both got really horny at the same time. I wonder why. No, no, no. Really, like we were, we said. I said. She said it first. I got this rush of real fucking like horny energy. <laughs> we fucking asked the shopkeeper, and she goes, "This here, this one, was a is a stone that is big for sexuality." No, no, it's not like, I don't know how it works. <laughs> but anyways. Was it working now? Were you, wait, were you like hugging at the same time? No, 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 no. We were obviously like, uh, holding hands, no, we're, linking arms. No, just near. Uh, near each other. Two all, all the time. sexually active humans were next to each other. Yeah, but we were with each other all the, all the time. No, it was a stone. Anyway, <laughs> no, and it was just, as we got near these, both of them, so I bought them. <laughs> Basically, you got it in your pocket. No, no, basically, town. what's happened there You're is what? that you could have gone up to that lady and be like, I feel really anxious. Like, this is the anxious stone. <laughs> <laughs> really, no. This is the horny stone. No, because I read it. Same I, fucking stone. You can Google it, mate. Yellow, um, certrate, cer- cer- <laughs> calcite, 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 calpat. No, <laughs> yellow calcite. And orange calcite, similar as well. It's basically, <laughs> it's basically, it gives you massive fucking hard ons. <laughs> Viagra spells. No. <laughs> 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 you need them. He's struggling to get it up at the moment. No. Is that, let's you, see what it says. Well, yeah, what is it? Z. <laughs> is this rose quartz? Delusion. This is the one of love as well. Oh, why did you buy that one? <laughs> <laughs> you bought the love and the horny one with your friend. <laughs> yeah, in Manchester. Yeah, we went on a okay, trip to so, Wales. Uh, it, no, it's actually more of a mental stimulation. So but, she chatted shit to you. No, no, go on. It will connect you to your own spirit. It will enhance your meditation and stimulate your higher mind. <laughs> <laughs> Which will link you to the most wonderful <laughs> spiritual guidance. <laughs> he thinks it gives him a boner. <laughs> <laughs> the Viagra Stone! <laughs> no, listen, I've actually got. Can you type in orange? Uh, no, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, it will enhance your physical energy. Yeah, so listen, right, we've all established here, I've actually, I'm spiritually in tune. Okay. It's an uplifting stone. These fucking muggles, right? <laughs> I know some of you are like actually listening, like quite frustrated at these guys because all they do is laugh at me when it comes to this stuff. But you're actually a bit on it as well. I know you are. You're actually interested and you're open minded. I'm like these <laughs> fucking. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. It's horseshit. Look, <laughs> mate, they're trying to convince me that that stone, if you mm. hold it, will, will help someone's IBS. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. Of course it will. Holding a stone will help your irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> it's going to stop you shitting, is it? <laughs> no. Not now. Not ever. Hey, listen, I slept with these next to my bed last night and I had a great night's sleep. <laughs> what? How so, she yeah, said, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like hugging the stone. <laughs> she said, no. She said that it was um, <laughs> it's good for insomnia. <laughs> Why does it just do everything? She told you what you wanted to hear. <laughs> so look, look at this stressed man. He, he's horny and he's probably insomniac. Yeah. So anyways, it worked. <laughs> I don't know, because apparently, like, they emit certain energies. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and they're found in the ground. Mate, um, this stone, is, it does everything, apparently. Yeah, but you're... You need, look, uh, it, it, this stone... <laughs> <coughs> feeling horny yet, yeah, mate? No, I'm telling you. Also um, encourages what? Oh, what? It, it encourages blood clots. What? 
Encourage- no, but that's because it's sending so much blood to your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this stone does everything. They're just covering every basis to make you feel like, whoa, so yellow you, calcite, love and relationships. Oh, so you do genuinely believe in this? Like, man, <laughs> I'm just open to everything. I think that's what it is. I don't, I don't tend to condescend or you know bat something away and take the piss out of it until I've actually like given it a chance. No, but I'm I think like, that is also. I, think I, like, I can actually feel, with your logic. I can as actually well. feel the energy. Placebo. Um, no, my left hand is really heavy now. Yes, yeah, because it's got stone in. No, I can't, no, I can't feel the energy. Okay. But listen, <laughs> okay. Psych. <laughs> Mate, you, you brought a stone back from all over <laughs> Like, I did this as a kid. How much did they cost you? Oh, that wasn't, that was literally like four quid. <laughs> it's just yeah, a rock. It is metal. metal. <laughs> it is exactly that. It is exactly that. Mate, mate, if I it told you. Just a rock. If I told you uh, bread, right, you'd eat that and it would do certain things to you, like give you energy, all this, that, and the other. And you you hadn't like mate, been told by scientific, like uh, the macronutrients or whatnot. You'll be like, how does this piece of fucking wheat give me that? And science. All that? Okay, science, yeah. right? Yeah, so I think the argument okay. here is Malfoy is saying that. There, there's factual evidence okay. that Proof. suggests that. Yeah, yeah. So, so it until, does do yeah, this. but this is the thing. So you're, you're until you're told something is true, but factually, you can't be open minded to the fact <laughs> that it could be true. For example, you can't see Wi-Fi, but you know it's there because you've been like told it's there, right? You're a follower. No, <laughs> you need to be told. Also, my phone you can't to it. be fucking open minded <laughs> no, and give something a chance because you need to be told. You need to be told, and I am. I've had enough it's a stone. because I. I'm open to things like spirits. <laughs> I'm open to things like aliens. I'm not. I mean, I am. Yeah, aliens, I am. Yeah, okay. But as in, like, okay, we'll prove so, there's a spirit. But why? Why do you have to actually like laugh at me? <laughs> because why you're trying to convince me that it's this stone gives you a boner. I, <laughs> I am just relaying my experience when I walked up, when both of us walked up to that side of that fucking little shop. No, I, I think I think you know I'm gonna and it's I'm gonna come to Weller's defense here. He has a point in the look that nothing there is nothing necessarily. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. You want a rod on because you. Oh, and you've had your laugh. He you know. would, no, maybe he you're wants to know that. No, it is. Maybe, no, no, give me, give no, me a week with the rock. Yeah, but can you not tell us because your negative energy is actually. Uh, <laughs> give me a week with the rock. No, fucking give it My back. Rock now. I'm, no, give it Mine to me. Mine now. No, pass it here. My precious. Pa- pass it here. It's actually the precious. Fucking beta male. Well, no, can I, can I try the pink one? No. I think that. These are my rocks. You know, Weller well has a point when saying, you know, well, just because. You haven't been told that something is true. Doesn't mean it's not necessarily not true. Yeah, no, I get I think that. that came out right. Close-minded twat. But I, d- I do think Theo makes a fair point in the sense that they are they are just rocks. Yeah, but why rocks. can't why can't rocks do that? Why can't there be minerals? Everything is just a fucking material at the end of the day. Why can't because that? she told you one thing, then told you another. So just because so you've, so you've relayed like a sto- you've written a narrative, and now you're like because you bought it, mate. You've bought a rock yeah. in a shopping centre, yeah. And they've told you it makes you horny and it makes you less anxious and it okay, helps you sleep. Okay, it's not just but like, there's actually if you fucking did your research, you could actually <laughs> see something. No, but mate, like you're just too close-minded. If you get, found that rock get, in the sea. Get out of the studio. If you <laughs> get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. <laughs> get out. <laughs> no. Should I, tell you, should I see it? Another comment I saw was that Luke is actually the Sigma of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, I did see that. So I- how it goes. So basically, guys, those of you that didn't that missed last week's episode, and by the way, it's fucking quality. At least watch the intro. <laughs> um, so Theo brought up this thing of like the thing that's above an alpha male or an alpha is a Sigma. And in fact, a, a, a waffler commented saying that the balance of this podcast works well because Luke is in fact the Sigma, Joe's the Alpha, and Theo's the Beta. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd actually say that is actually right because Alpha needs to be uh, almost like head number one, this, that, and the other. Whereas a Sigma it almost goes, I don't need to compete with anyone here because I know my, I know my worth sort of thing. So he doesn't, need to, he doesn't compete with anyone. Whereas you're obviously the Beta. <laughs> <laughs> and we have this little back and forth because you try to battle for or maybe, alpha. Or maybe we're both alpha. No, no, no. You try and battle for alpha, but I'm, I'm I too. Mean- no, no, no. But I, I, I do fight back. I do try and defend that place. I'm trying to look at it from like an yeah, outside no, point you. of view. I try and defend that position and go, no, I'm the alpha. But then also, I'm not fighting for the alpha place no, because do. I know I'm already a sigma. 
I know no, no, you're not. Because no, your behaviour, if you watch back the pod, you'll see how how um, beta I was. <laughs> oh, that fucking thing's beta. <laughs> yeah, we we'll get it. But I thought it was very interesting when I saw it. It was an interesting one. I did see that. But then, like, do you actually think he's the Sigma? No, I do. I do. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. But so this is a, a Sigma is a good thing. Yeah, it's like the yeah. The, well, the, I mean, it it's like the granddad of the group. <laughs> oh, the no, wise man. Wrong. The wise man. Yeah, like like, like you're not out on the field shooting, man. You're sort of like the exec producer. <laughs> but then do you care about what other people think of you? No. Or do you? Naturally, to an extent. I think, uh, you know, everyone cares to a certain point. Would you say you're more of a sheep or a herder? He, he's less of a sheep. Yeah, he'll, he'll do his own thing. Will, I'll do it? my own thing. But you, <laughs> <laughs> you fo- no, you do, not in a dickhead way, but you do follow trends. Trends. You follow. You are f- you're not in a horrible way. That, yeah, that it. also isn't actually but a bad back, thing to back, say about. Yeah, someone. yeah, but back me up. Some some people <laughs> like. No, because I don't want it to be the like well as being a dick. I also Theo. also sometimes I literally don't give a fuck and I do my own thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't I think, think well as saying it, it, no, 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 so much. But about I think that's very think. much me as a person. I'm very much different pieces of multiple pies. Except crystals. Fuck the crystals. Aloha. Now, do you struggle dressing yourself sometimes? Just like Malfoy and myself, like for years, I was wearing the same rubbish clothes. Well, our friends at Stitch Fix are here to save you. Basically, what they do is they give you a very quick, easy questionnaire to fill out about your style, your interest, what you'd summarize yourself as a person to be like. And then they will design a fix, a little package of great clothing to match you. And you can get 20% off your whole order with us. Right, if you go to stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling and keep everything that they give you, you just get it with 20% off quality. So remember, stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling. And don't forget as well that these brands are incredible. They're not just some shoddy things. They are the best of the best. Nice. So check them out. The link is in the description. You will not regret it. Enjoy yourself. Back on with the show. Have you ever tried CBD? I have. I used to have it all the time. Yeah. I had it over lockdown. Yeah, because I, I basically, um, why I was in Manchester was to meet uh, an owner of a brand Yeah, uh, that does CBD and stuff. And I used it once before, and it's almost, what, what, it just really made me think, like, the placebo, like, how strong is the placebo? Is is it that, like, you're t- taking this thing, and it said, oh, it's it gets rid of anxiety, depression, makes you sleep well, and because... You put it inside of you, boom, subconsciously you yeah. relax and get, you have a good night's sleep. And you're like, oh, it must be to do with that. Or, you know, how I do think you know? In the UK as well, it's not as strong as like in America. Right. So for, during lockdown, I took it for like five months, like a long time. I wanted to really give it a go every day. And I stopped taking it because I just forgot to buy it. No difference. Is I think that's why it could be. A, it, there is definitely some scientific health benefits to it. There is. But I think it has to have... Uh, something, something HT or something in it. THC. THC. That's, that's the thing that's that's that gets was, you off your nut. Yeah, no, that's, that's what, what that's I was going to say. That in America, they have it with THC in it. Yeah, in America, you can buy THC, and I'm pretty sure that's that, the stuff that actually has those like. Uh, you, you know, like where people uh, maybe try and cure their own cancer. Mm. Like mm. that's what they. I'm pretty sure that's Health the ingredient pain. that needs to be in it. No, but there, there are genuinely, yeah, yeah. and maybe, no, it does. when we get this conspiracy section up and running. We've been doing up compr- conspiracies this whole episode so far. Yeah, I know, it's actually quite cool, I like it. But um, there are cases of where, like, incurable cancer yep. has been cured, and I say incurable by me- Western medicine, has been cured by, like, marijuana. Yeah, no, I have seen that. But what about as well when they, um, like... Oh, there's those people <laughs> that do those like natural remedies, like oh, like the Amazonian rainforest. Or is it like you'll go see someone like you have cancer, for example, and they'll do like I'm gonna try. <laughs> no, I don't know what they do, but they'll. It's in in France. They'll they go do to, something. Um, what's that religious place in France? They like touch the water because in France, the, under uh, Christianity, I think it's Christianity. They have actual like 150, 160 actual cases of miracles, like recorded miracles. What? Yeah, there are like recorded. Yeah, yeah. Miracles there are miracles the are actual things. Like they're being recorded in a document. But they have to be like they have certified. to be like yeah they have to be certified by like, a priest or whatever. Yeah, they have to go. Yeah, that's a miracle. No, that's not a miracle. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, legit. That's but nutty. What you're talking about these sort of like little ritual things. That's why. Pretty sure. 
correct me if I'm wrong, Bob Marley died because part of his was he a Rastafarian? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure something to do with it. What, like he wasn't allowed to like uh, remove his cancer for whatever reason, and like he was just trying all these um, different medicines, like all these little like voodoo sort of yeah. voodoo things. One of them killed he, him. Well, no, he's he's dead. It, the, the, cancer. The, can, the cancer. The cancer killed him. Oh, okay. It, it spread, but that's what I'm saying. It's like that. Uh, have you seen all oh, that fucking like the healing shit? You, you see yeah. it in like America, or, like. But then uh, Darren Brown did like a series on it where like he was like, I can make people like think believe. Like, well, yeah, the power of like the subconscious and whatnot <laughs> is nuts. I would love to. Have you ever been hypnotized? No, I want to be. I really want to be hypnotized. Live on waffling. Oh, oh we have to get mad. a real hypnotist. I don't know if I. I don't know if I could be hypnotized. So, yeah, though. only some people. Only are. some people can because you have to be willing to let go. And I try. Oh yeah, to you hold on to the present. That's why you need to do um, psychedelics. Mushroom. Wait, is there a hypnotist watching? Is this? there a hypnotist oh, watching mate, right now? Fantastic. That would be so interesting. So I want to know like, if I could. Fill, if I, I will give it all my best to l- let go. But the like, let go is having an open mind. Like, get let, let no, go of all these, o- no. these fucking belief Hypnotist systems. Hypnotism is a real thing, listen, so I believe it. The, the let, no, but letting go of all your preconceived... Like, from birth, we have these ideas that we completely believe in and they help us feel secure and comfortable because we, we stick to that and that is it. And you're a classic example of you don't let go of what you've literally believed your whole life. You can't, you can't be open-minded. It's just too easy to trigger you, though. No, but <laughs> it's in, it across the board, across the board. Right now, you're covering up with this trigger bollocks on a real <laughs> on a real level. But that is, if we were to actually like do some some like mad stuff like that, hypnotize whatever. I don't know. It would be interesting to see if you could really open your mind and not be judgmental, not be any of those like things, those negative things. No, on a level, mate. No, obviously I do play up to the camera. I do like to take. No, the you piss do this off you. camera. It's not I taking the piss. It's <laughs> taking piss out yourself. <laughs> I'm taking piss out of you, mate. No, you're not. <laughs> you said you no, believe in a stone. No, so I'm just. No, it's all right to admit. A lot. I think that's yeah, a load of shite. As yeah, well. mate. Yeah. Realistically, it is fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but no, I want across the board throughout your whole life, you've been like this. Well, I'll be willing to do more shrooms. Uh, do shrooms for, for the first time as well. Why is it always going to drugs? Well, that's no, that's a psychedelic, isn't it? In Amsterdam, you buy shrooms and you just have an, an eye opening, like yeah. ayahuasca. Yeah, that'd be cool. That, I, that's scary. Like, that scares me. Like from the stories, like it's a, that's a yeah. serious, what's, like what's six, seven hour a, job. Awakening. Yeah. People like, throw up. It's like uh, I need to research more, but it's, it's like basically a poison, com- but not a poison. You ever done DMT? <laughs> no, it's very Joe. Rogan I've done it podcast. once in America, obviously. No. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're in America. No, in, in Alaska. Is that, is, oh, that's, that's, a, that's oh, America. It's, it's in America. <laughs> so yeah, so that's yeah, that's all right then. But um, but basically, um, it made me see in HD. Four <laughs> K. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe just I, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> as in, like mentally, but well, you've not just, got very good eyesight. Nor what are you saying no, right now? Like seven twenty. <laughs> everyone, yeah, every, every, everyone could just fucking like did it. It just makes your vision just the most clear, and makes you so present. It's like really the eye, like if I said to you on it. We're just three boys in a room. You, you would get what I mean. Yeah, no, I get. You'd be like, if you said that to me, I'd be like, that is crazy. No, no, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> be like, that's so deep. No, no. <laughs> would you go on a night out on your own? No. I find, I find, I, I, keep I find it mental. bad that you to keep, I doing, keep it. doing it. Right, Spacey, I have some friends. So there's these models from... Um, Name the where they odd. live. They live across the road. Oh, I thought London. you were actually going to do... I thought you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, across the road. But um, I, I've made friends with them and now they go out as a group and, I, and they just invite me and I just join them. But I go to the club on my own. And also I'm doing this thing where I'm not drinking at the moment. So I went to Tape, right? Tape London. <laughs> no drink. On my own. Not drinking. And it was class. I, and I just fucking like... Because I feel like a lot of people, they, 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 so they drink the alcohol for the confidence or to feel like they can do this. But, but put yourself in that position. You'll probably realise, actually, I can like I don't actually need to be stimulated by anything else to give me the confidence. Why are you, like, loose with the hips yeah, and well, stuff? Yeah, well, I just am, aren't I? I are just, just like, like a fruity don. I think the big That's thing good. there is, like, just alcohol involved or alcohol not involved. Turn, turn up to the club on your own. Like, how does that... 
I, can't, I just, I physically can't imagine. I think it. it's where I've turned up to multiple big things on my own now. It's very much so I, I go and work at Sky Sports at Wembley Arena. You walk in backstage there and you've got fighters, boxing co- coaches that are le- legit. Like it's, it's a very testosterone, like serious, like, and you, I've got to walk in there on my own and hold my own, right? That's, you know, there's nothing, uh, there's no stimulant I can take to get me through that. So getting through that, for example, going and meeting like Universal Music or Atlantic Record or whatever, whoever, you know, these big record deal companies and, and speaking with them on holding my own, you know, whatever else I'm doing, I've had to almost like hold my own in several situations now where that, that going to a social place like a club where you're not actually being judged in the scenarios like when I work, it's almost like, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy. So it's very much now. another case of the more you put it yourself into those situations, yeah. the more practice, so to speak, that you're getting. Exposure therapy. It literally really. is exposure but therapy. This, mm. this is also the thing I find. I find, obviously, we if we do answer questions from people about maybe like confidence and whatnot, they, they, it's typically from someone that's maybe like 16, 17 or 18. I'd say that's like our main demographic. So like it may be hard for those to resonate with our advice on the basis that, like, when you're 25, like, when you were 16, 17, or 18, okay, 18, because you could go to a club then, you would have never gone to a club on your own. No. At that age, because... No, but I'm 25 now, and that's the thing, I'm talking from... Experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, obviously, that comment, What? how old are you, if you're watching this right now? Because I reckon we've got some over 25s, I reckon we've got some over 60s, of course. mate. Of course. I reckon we've got some MILFs. Speaking of which... What? Huh? Oh, is it... 31 minutes. 31 minutes. You are going or have been or... Will, I've been approached. Been approached I've by... I've been approached by a... You could say MILF. And a, <laughs> a MILF stands for? Mother, I, I'd i like... It's quite... How does that... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, basically... A very um, beautiful woman who has children. Yeah. Kylie Jenner. For example. Nah, but... Um, it's, it's this sounds a, a bit older, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, that obviously, obviously, you're like you've always told us like your dream is to go on a date with like a mother, and like now it's coming true. How do you feel about that? Are you nervous for it? I oh, mean, I was terrified. You are terrified. Was terrified. Yeah. So, so it comes in waves. So it's sort of like um, you forget about it. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like in moments you'll be like, oh my god, this is happening. It's like it's now. It's yeah. But look, I mean, like I say, I, I'm only here for sort of like meaningful interaction now. So. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead with it. Like I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a bit of me, brother. L- bullshit, bullshit. What are you talking about? Why wouldn't you go ahead with it then? She what? wants to, she wants to go out for drinks, and obviously oh. I'm not drinking. Oh, you can, you could, you said, you did say to yourself though, like I'll drink in every now and again, like when I want to. Yeah. And do you want to go for drinks with her, or is there someone Look, more like the radar? <laughs> Look, okay, this is the thing. This is that thing of like... At the end of the day, nothing's that fucking deep, right? It's not that deep. Just go in and enjoy... Obviously, you, you're the girl you're currently like seeing, That you, you're, you're basically only seeing her, right? You don't get any other urges or... or not, not urges. Do you get other opportunities to uh, hang out with other girls bar this new girlfriend that you've got? Yeah, but they're exclusive. Are you exclusive? What? No, okay, what? But before you were exclusive, listen, no, no, mate. fucking have this conversation. Before you were exclusive, <laughs> no, you've gone so fucking <laughs> red. Oh my god, so bruv, bruv. Oh my god, relax, relax, oh relax. Okay, yeah. no, oh. you're good. You can do this. It's a fucking stop. Oh, listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> give me the crystal. <laughs> give me the crystal now. No, look, calm down. Calm down. I'm not good with like talking. No, I don't like... give a fuck. Just listen. <laughs> we were talking about just, you. Yeah, you see yes. how he's flipped this? Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about this. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna connect it back to okay, me. Just, yeah, no, connect just it, connect fucking I'm focus, listening. right? So before you were exclusive, did you have opportunities to <laughs> interact with other girls that and and the idea of realistically like Everyone brings a different energy. Laugh, go on, laugh. Everyone does bring a different no, energy. I, did, a different I aura, believe that I know right? I know. that's what I think. And Hanging out with different energies and auras is stimulates you in different ways, right? <laughs> no, it does. So yeah. as in, you may enjoy hanging out with one person in what, like, and you like them for them in their way, but then hanging out with someone else in their way is different and also good. But you're not like picking on oh, this one's better than this one. Yeah, no, I get what you're it's saying. Just, yeah, I get what you're now, saying. Now those two people may be, both be female. So now, just human beings so at the end of the day. Do you? What I'm saying is, do you have the desire? Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> do you have the desire to? 
or you know go and interact with different energies currently currently no so it's just, you have got a girlfriend then no i don't Ch- what no oh my god oh my god it's what i mean it is exclusive so she, have you it's had like, that conversation would you have that conversation huh? <laughs> he's got, well now he's the thing is he's got to have it before Wait, sunday now have that conversation <laughs> ask theo <laughs> ask j theo <laughs> <laughs> no anyways um <laughs> do you love her Oh, shut the fuck he up. You fucking love her. You said shut, you missed her. Oh, shut up, please. You, you, <laughs> what have I done? It's anyways, quite uh, funny. Anyways, relaying it back to, why, what were you asking me again? <laughs> How do you always do this? <laughs> I, think it, I think it's nice <laughs> that you found a nice It's the girl. fucking crystal. <laughs> no, Joe, can I please have the pink one? No. Give me the ain't ang- shit. I, no, you got negative energy around that. you. Oi, this is what people do. This is like, you know, when you're in like a really bad situation. Give me the crystals. Like, give me the crystals. God, get me out of this. But you, know, you don't believe in God. Which, which, which is the, the crystal? No, no. Give, give me the crystal. No, I'm, I'm open to trying the crystal. The crystal's now. in the room. You don't now you're just hold demeaning it. me. No, just give me the crystal. Demeaning. Give me the no, fr- give me the crystal. Crystal. <laughs> Crispies. Right. <laughs> Look, just stay there. Right. Um, you need to calm down first off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Doing, yeah, that... Very high energy. Yeah. Do you know what's really interesting? Because um, obviously. Well, he... ha- no, hang on. Oh. Hang on. Okay, go on. Ask me whatever you want. Tonight, well, when you go on this. Go on. When if you go on this date, obviously your dream was to go on a date with a male. <laughs> like every time you've had like a, like your dream was to have sex as a kid. Like that was your dream. Like you <laughs> your like one true purpose in life. How do you think the pressure is going to affect you now? When fine. I feel like you've sort of come a long way with overcoming yeah, yeah, pressure, yeah. that'll be fine. It's it's like like what are you doing? Oh, this oh. Really <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> um, basically, um, I think so. Naturally, this is what happens to me nowadays. The beforehand, the build up, terrifying, terrifying. Second, I'd say hello, like in the, any of these business meetings or when I get to Sky Sports or whatnot. It's just the second you're in there and you're in the mode, your brain starts. It's like it's like imagine when your white blood cell s- detects a virus that it's already seen before. It's like oh, I've got the antibodies to deal with you. Let me send these because it's got memory cells, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so going back to like caveman times, um, we're. <laughs> Like comparing him chatting to a bird to white blood it's cells. Fucking immune system. Yeah, basically. I am the immune system. <laughs> I am. Look, basically, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big rock of mandy. <laughs> what, what, what was that? What, what's that? <laughs> We're even bolder of it. <laughs> Stop. Right. Anyways, um, <laughs> you any of the new pills, mate? Right, anyway, stop, 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 stop. Yes, yeah, stop. I don't know what. Paracetam. Do. Don't, don't break the chair. No, but you're leaning. <laughs> Once <laughs> there was a kid that leaned too far back on his chair and died. <laughs> it's a very big rock. Um. Uh, yeah, so basically, I think I'll be fine if I was to go. I don't think I'm going to be good. I think I would be great. Because realistically, you know. It's <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> the way you go. You just try and defend it by going, if I go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I go, basically, um, no, it's just in, in, the, in the bar she's working at. So I'll, I'll tell I was you, just finishing I'll, her I'll shift. I'll tell you the story. No, no. So I, I went I, I went to this uh, sort of restaurant slash bar. Mm-hmm. What was it called? And don't know. <laughs> and basically, she's a waitress. <laughs> and I thought she was stunning. I would see, just got chatting. And I was like, oh, wow, it's incredible. And then went to the Instagram DMs. How did you find her Instagram? No, she found me. <laughs> when um, she messaged you, saying, hello, yeah. I'm the waitress lady. Yeah. And you were like, Jackpot. I'm in love. No, it's just it's just interesting, but um <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah. So we should we should do something this evening then, the three of us. Oh imagine if you two went for dinner at the same place. <laughs> With the just, newspaper. <laughs> just like looking just, <laughs> that'd be Wait, awful. so you are going? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, I found something interesting out when we went up to do the tango thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, should we talk about the tango thing? Well, explain the tango thing, then talk about okay, this. Okay, so basically, thing. with uh, Tango Ice Blast, obviously, you know, we created our own flavour. The Fruity the fr Don. The Fruity Don, right? They put a machine in my house. Tom, get a picture up. Look, have a look at that. Actual Ice Blast machine in my gaff. Anyways, we want to make this a long-term thing. We actually want them to sponsor the show. So, um, anyways, we did this little thing with them where we go up and make TikToks with them. So, Sned Flanders, <laughs> like this geezer. <laughs> Just As you saw him on, <laughs> so he's, an, he's an Ed Sheeran lookalike. I put him on my Instagram. So many people thought it was the real one. Believe in Bruce was like, oh, that photo of you and Ed Sheeran was quality. And I was like, and I'm not going to lie. A lot of he people really like, uh, obviously, like naturally people like to like be like, oh, he looks nothing like him. Mate, if you see him in real life, especially. Yeah. He looked it more really like Ed in real like life him. than in photos, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, so... Anyways, well, that was lots of fun, but what were you going to say about the tango thing? Oh, yeah, obviously Luke missed the train, and it was quite embarrassing that we were late. But <laughs> I mean, it got to spend time with you, and I found out that you um, are quite, how do I say, you know, free with your money on OnlyFans. So this man pays for multiple OnlyFans accounts. Is that true? What? <laughs> we didn't have that conversation. Yeah, we did. So back in the day... What, so I you currently got zero subscribers? I currently have none. <laughs> Can you wait, verify that? Wait, wait, but we didn't talk about that on the train. We must have. Wait, well, why are you saying that I spoke about that? Fair enough if I did, but I didn't. Yeah, you did. If I'd spoke about it, I'd go, yeah, I spoke <laughs> about it, but I didn't. No, but maybe you've forgotten about it. Oh, I'd remember no, that. No, what he's doing is doing a very, very good job at trying to pretend that we oh, do. Oh, he's trying to convince no, everyone. No, like, I thought, if, if I, mate, I've, I've had OnlyFans before. I've done it when I didn't. <laughs> but I, I've watched OnlyFans because sometimes it's been quality, but no longer because obviously since after having a girl, obviously when I had a girlfriend, I didn't have it. And then... Yeah, but now you're single. And then, no, yeah, but I haven't gone back. Oh, let me just... I'm like, going, I don't, I I don't need to do How does it work? Like, do how does it work? <laughs> what do you, what do, you, what do, you do, and do you speak to them? Do you... I don't speak to them. No, you just pay to unlock their exclusive content. Oh. That, that's all it is, really. Okay. I don't know where this is going, then, if we didn't have that conversation. Well, it sounds like you were trying to embarrass me in some No, I was just way. intrigued. I never actually met anyone that's bought an OnlyFans, and I know how popular it is. Okay. I thought you were, like, the first one I'd known, but okay. He was right. trying to embarrass me. <laughs> Well, that backfired. Wait, but is that, that, that's strange though, right? Everyone <laughs> will happily like go on to these free porn internet sites, right? But why is it then all of a sudden like, like, like for example, why should it be embarrassing to pay for, for you it. to pay to view someone's content, which they are freely and willingly putting out there because you, you're taking a liking to the way they look? Yeah, Naturally, yeah. That's because you, that when you're picking like a porn that you pick, so you're like, yeah, she's fit. I'll click on that. Do you know what I mean? So all you're essentially doing Picking someone that is it the like connection you have with them? Over well, you're like talking like I'm literally like. <laughs> I, I no, I, well, no, I'm asking in general. Is that no, but you? Is my, I'm, I'm you said you have it before. Yeah, you, you have before. That one is what time you before, correct? <laughs> but is it more of a? Obviously, you can get whatever you want on porn. It was just someone we know at school. No, 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 <laughs> they're no longer. <laughs> they're no longer at school. They're like, yeah. Oh. So oh, yeah. So it wasn't like a yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Joe subscribes to loads point. of random OnlyFans people. No, we know you don't now. You've already said that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> but what that just backed up my point. What I was about to say was, is that do people do it with these people because of like a, more of a connection? They feel like they have a connection. I believe it's more of like <laughs> I don't think the connection. May I guess some people try to play on like it feels like they're their girlfriend maybe, or it's in because it, like how these girls talk. Sounds like, like you're talking from experience, mate. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is, the thing is, I make any comment on this. You're actively digging and trying to ask questions. I answer one and it's like, I'm just getting... No, 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 I don't. No, I believe you. Right. No, if you say Next you don't subscribe to any, we believe you. And th that's not what I was saying. My point was like, well, why should it be embarrassing that, that someone does yeah, it anyway, yeah. whether you do okay. or, or you do not? <laughs> that, that's normal. Okay, so I don't really know what you want me to say, to be honest. Well, you told me on the train to bring it up because it was funny. Oh, you didn't say that. You didn't say I that. think you wrote something down. What did you? What note did you write down on the train when you were like... When we were talking. Sort of like when, when, we, we, when we didn't talk about it, though. Wait, I don't think we spoke about... Yeah, I wrote down Joe pays for OnlyFans. Joe <laughs> pays for... Mate, we spoke about OnlyFans about, in an episode about 
a year ago. It's like when you read out that that uh, message none from of flat us, number none 10. Of, none of us remember no, wait, wait, it. From you, flat number 10 last you week. Right, 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 but it's in, I think you've just got to remember that we've already spoken about OnlyFans and anything you're trying to dig me out on, you we've already covered. <laughs> so it's sort of like, what are you trying to do here, my brother? <laughs> you're not triggered, are you? You're getting a bit wound up. No, like, right? yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Right, should we talk about something interesting? Well, someone wants to fight you, don't they? Again? Oh, I hate Jess Diggy. Why is he so angry? I don't know. No, do you he's know, not. Do, no, do you know what I think it is? It's either he's seen the bag, right? Because obviously, like. He's seen the bag. Yeah, so he's seen the bag and he, like, fighting Weller would obviously be big. He's probably like a fan growing up. No, 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 let's be real. And then, um, so now he's, like, getting loud because he wants to fight. But remember, we were literally like, oh, yeah, it'd be great to have HS Tiki Toki on the pod, like, being, like, well, safe. But he's fucked that child. <laughs> Why does he just, I don't, like... I don't know. It has I, the bag. No, has may, maybe it as well. It's because, obviously, we were just, like, very candidly talking, like, oh, yeah, he just degrades women and goes out and does all this <laughs> stuff. And maybe it's hit a note because he's like, oh, wait, I do actually do that. Because I do think he does have a deeper side than what he puts out. Um, yeah, I think... I Not knowing the guy, but I just get that vibe. And I think we've hit a nerve and it's made him fucking think, oh shit. And now he's, he's deflecting that by going, oh, well, I want to fight Joe. <laughs> I think it's all, I, I genuinely think if you got him on the podcast, he would be able to have such deep conversations yeah. and deep chats. I think he's more- well, He's still working on. There's more to him than just his character that he's portraying. Yeah. And maybe he's become his own character, but I feel like there's a lot more behind the surface. Wait, because we've, dig deep we've, also, <laughs> we've also spoken about that before where people almost, grow too much into their mm. characters where is it like he's doing this thing where he's like you know like sort of jack the lad ladies man well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and now he's just taking it further and further and yeah, further and, now, and then he's like no fat birds allowed or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like well maybe as that's well a bit like less respectful. he's new he's new to the fame thing he's probably like he's 19 remember he's a kid so he's gonna like all of this is probably gassing him like even that you got mentioned on this podcast do you know what i mean he's probably like he's i also think like, as well oh, like, wow I don't think, I think the bag would be big for the fight, but not yet. I think maybe give it six oh, months. No, that, he's that, on, he's right now, he's up. not known, like, he's, he's not on his he's come not, up. He's not on the level. Like, uh, me fighting him, it's going to be like, who, who's this guy? Like, no. But pe pe some people from our, from England would know, but it's not a, a global thing, like, obviously, that, that, uh, that a Weller fight would be. In fairness, I, I actually didn't know who he was, besides from comments. I yeah. thought it was his sticky. His tiki -tiki. Tiki -tiki. But I like his TikToks. I think he's a funny guy. Yeah, they're so. funny. All right then, guys. This is one for you, boysies. And or females, if you're into this. Or both. <laughs> or either, Malfoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Basically, our friends at Manscaped have invented the best advice <laughs> ever for not cutting yourself while shaving. I don't know. All of us want to stay Prim and proper. We don't want a big bushy bush bush. <laughs> Maybe you do. But if you don't, like, this is perfect because it's it's basically not going to cut you and there's a light on it and it's amazing. Tell us more, Malfoy. Waterproof. Waterproof. But I will say this. Mate, you don't just have to use it I down Use there. it on my chest. Use it anywhere. And the, I, I use oh, your ass. Use it on my face as well. Not on my ass. But um, the good thing about it, right, is sometimes it can be well long because you do have to be careful about not cutting yourself. Mate. This, you can just literally, what you whack everything off in like minutes. It's gone. No, don't it's be too blase. What do you mean? No, what? But because of the, the skin safe technology that yeah. they've got, you don't have to think so much about not cutting yeah. yourself. So you can get it over with a bit. Like, it's a bit yeah. long. No, sometimes I start developing really awful pains in my necks when I'm like looking down. <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what we're offering you is 20% off and free shipping if you go to manscaped.com slash waffling. That is a 20% off reduction and free shipping. A great deal. This will save your day. And I know it will. Come on. The link's in the description. Manscaped.com slash waffling. Say trick or treat to your beautiful new Halloweeny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they put. Anyways, back, peace. But, but, what? we're going to end off with this. Have peace of mind when you shave your balls. Back on with the show. <laughs> so what next, boys? I bought Get a, into crunch time. Bought a new car. Oh, so this. You lot. Speaking of petrol. Yeah, I'm just talking about petrol. But listen. Um, Theo went out of his way to do the right thing. Get an electric car. You went to get a Tesla. Now, Place he, the order. You're a crook and a fraud. And that is why it got rejected? Now, why, why did it get rejected? I don't know. Firstly, can you tell us what the car is? Yeah. Like, talk us through. I bought a Model People 3, a performance Model 3. Yeah, and this is what it would look like. Get it up on screen now, Tom. And then 3.1 seconds. And then, uh, could you 
part of the business because it's fully electric. You do your stuff with the government. You help the government out, you know, help the country. And Wait, so you buy it on the business so you can avoid tax. Is that right? No, you get, don't you, do you get like a bursary or something? Yeah, it's something, it's, it's something to help the government out, definitely to help the economy. Oh, it's not to help, the, it's to help you out. Yeah, because it's like you, you pay less tax, so like us other people have to like pave us. the way. I pay, what? So because you, so, you, pay you avoid paying tax. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Um, but anyways, <coughs> I go to apply for the finance because yeah. you put a deposit and then you pay monthly or whatever. And I just got rejected. And I was like, oh, I don't understand um, why. How much was it going to cost you a month? Seven, 700 that. quid? Yeah. That? Yeah. So so this, so I... I to save the planet. I've... Fuck off. <laughs> so I've never been able to... I, I pay for my car out of my personal. Because yeah, when I said, oh, can I pay it out of my business? They were like, nah, it's got to be personal. That's why, that's why the government is, is saying businesses can get all electric and then it's like you save money for it has to be an electric vehicle because they want people to go electric to obviously yeah there is some okay. incentive thing. That and like then the also then it's like 50 percent better for you if you do right. a hybrid and you can't do it for a petrol or diesel car okay you know what i'm saying and then you applied via your personal bank no i applied <laughs> through my business because i'm buying it off no, but then you bank. also applied through your personal <laughs> <laughs> and what, ha what happened i got rejected on both why did that get rejected as well? Is it because you, you claim that you earn like 11 <laughs> grand a year? No. I don't know why. How much do you maybe claim I, that you I, earn a year? Maybe I filled the form out wrong. Oh. So you've now had to... Do you tax a bank? <laughs> no, what the fuck? I'm joking, I'll stop doing this now. Yes, because tax is a touchy subject. No, what do you mean touchy? We address all subjects here. Nothing's too big for us, brother. <laughs> but I'm just really sad because I got so excited oh, no. that I bought my car. I didn't buy it. I place the order yeah and then i just can't get it because a fucking company said no who is it who's giving the finance by the way black horse uh they're a dark horse company though <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like <laughs> I, I tried to ring them up and like I, I tried to ask them like why have you rejected me and they're like i can't tell you that what and i was like can you just tell me so i can fix it they're like we're not allowed what so you don't you can't know i don't know what wrong no so if you fail a credit check they are not allowed to tell you why you failed. Wait, and Wafflers, is it true that if you fail a credit check, it actually counts against your credit score? So every time you fail, you just go more and more <laughs> down the pecking order. I'm pretty sure if you get rejected uh, finance or something, it uh, it definitely, I'm pretty sure it affects your credit my, score. I, I went on Experian and checked my credit score, and it's 999 out of 999. That was on your personal. What about, was it on your business? It doesn't exist on business because oh, there's okay. no credit They're score. They're more for show. It, what you have oh. to do is actually... Like pay for the yeah. Uh, that's how they get you in. Oh yeah, your credit score's good, buddy. And then pay, you put your bank account details in, and they're like zero. Pay for the experience, like report, and actually get your credit report rather than like your little like. Basically, I just need like someone to just animation grow up and just please let me have the finance. So this, I, th I think there are some companies that sort out like celebrities with uh, PCP agreements and whatnot, a little backhand, a backdoor sort of. But it's not. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not dodgy. It's a, uh, it's all legit. But um, I've seen them on Instagram. I might have followed them myself. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to get? Actually, do you remember? Well, Years Mercedes. Uh, <laughs> back back in twenty sixteen, what we went to an Audi dealership because, like, you were, we were like, I was looking at an R eight, yeah, but they wouldn't let us even like. It's because I had to be over twenty five to test drive it. And I was like, 18. Wasn't it going to be like 1,500 a month or something ridiculous? <laughs> no, yeah, I, te nice. I test drove a, um, that e-tron GT. Oh, quality. It's that like a good. spaceship. Is it good though? It's Unreal. a space, mate, it's insane. And this then, is a picture of it, by the way. And then watching. I was like, oh, let's go see how much it would be. Because I didn't think, I thought it'd be like the same price as a, mod, yeah. a Tesla. He goes, yeah, let me just write this up for you. And I look, he gives me the sheet and goes, oh my God, it's 1.1 1. 1. 1 a month. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to have to think about that one. And how much did you have to put down? That was like 10k down as well. Shit me. It's such an expensive car. That's, 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 <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? Like, 1,100 pounds a month. It's motor. stupid, it's stupid, it's stupid. It's unless so you can, unless you're like, obviously like, I don't know, football or whatever. Yeah, but then the thing is, at the same time, you do earn a fair bit of money. Yeah, and you do spunk it up the wall on these new, also, new outfits that you're wearing. But yeah. also, I'd also you'd, when is this going to end? When will it all come crumbling down? What, is it or like? will it never, because we're oh. so diversified Wait, and we've got multiple eggs in multiple baskets. Well, that fear of like, what if you stop earning? 
Because, like, for example, you're Loser right. mentality. Next, <laughs> next month, you could literally just... Nope. Capitulate. No, no, no. At the end of the day, look, the, a lot... My, mate, the majority of pop, the population do live month by month in terms of, like, it, you know... Especially paycheck, like, paycheck. Yeah, yeah, You don't know if like, you're going to be able to afford the next month. That's yeah. not actually unheard of. Yeah. No, so no, it's so, so normal. Yeah. So, And a part of it is just, like, if you want to buy yourself a nice car or whatever and it's a challenge for you to pay it, then that might help with you your work ethic and be like, I need to do this, I well, want to do this. As someone that's been at rock bottom, <laughs> from being at the top, you know, financially secure to losing it all, <laughs> like, I, I can imagine someone like, say, True Geordie as well, who's been open about that. That's fired him up to make sure, like, that Never he works again. as hard as he... That's why I, I do everything that I do, you know, like signing this record deal. Yeah, speaking of which... What? Obviously, you oh, you signed it last Wednesday. Didn't no, you? so Luke, Luke, listen to the voice note from my lawyer, right? Oh, no. Don't drag me into it. No, Luke heard. Look, look, fucking, it's a Friday. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Friday. We're all meeting up. Well, I thought you met up on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we and the did. Wednesday before that. No, it's all good, but we're doing the actual signing at Univert because we want to get Instagrams of it. Mate, you've said that for four <laughs> weeks in a row. <laughs> you've said. Every time on this podcast, you go, I yeah, can't next wait. week, next week we're signing it. Yeah. <laughs> For the Instagram. Like. So when you're negotiating big deals, <laughs> right? <laughs> when you're doing a big boy deals, Just Malfoy. Leaning forward. Yeah. <laughs> When you're doing a big boy deals, it ain't a fucking like once over and yeah, just put my name on it, right? When you, these are serious things, and if there's if there's <laughs> if there's the slightest thing, whether it be like oh, what's well as split in fucking Azerbaijan or some shit, it's gonna be every fucking detail has to be right, and you're not putting pen to paper, even though we're saying right, yeah, we're doing this day, we're doing it that day. I don't give a fuck. Friday, <laughs> you just let one rip. No, oh. no, yeah, li literally, laughing. we're um. But Friday, he's saying he said in the voice note. It, 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 as long as they don't add any other Spanish, oh, no. like they've done every other week, <laughs> it will be Friday, mate. As long as they don't, but is that Joel? I can't wait, right? <laughs> when we're on stage next year and you're doing this, Robbie Williams, just turn the music off. I'm gonna turn it all the way down. <laughs> Are you gonna do it though? Obviously, because it's at those points that I, mate, no, but I hope you look back on these moments where you've ridiculed me, yes, and we're gonna clip it. this up, think about it. Yes, maybe I'm sometimes I'm um, introverted, sometimes I'm extroverted, but when it comes to performing and living in the moment and performing under pressure, I've never not thrived. Ooh, thrush. <laughs> you, still, you still got thrush. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, you got that thing at Space League. Theo got <laughs> hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. I'm talking about performing at Reading Festival and you're thinking about my cock. What? No one mentioned your cock. You did. I said your thrush disease. Now, listen... <laughs> You. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? Why are you bringing? I, up? I just want us to be mates. We are. But you, I asked for the crystal earlier, and I was willing to. No, no, no. Yeah, I you was willing fucked to fucked it off. No, no you I wanted to use it while when you were rock bottom, but you had no respect <laughs> for it. <laughs> you had no respect for it when you were doing all right. It's like you only want it when you need it. Okay, now I'm doing all right again. Can I borrow? Shows what you like in relationships. Can, Speaking of them, can I borrow? The, <laughs> can I borrow the crystal now, please? Because I'm at the top now. No, it's in the room. It just needs to be in the room. No, I want to touch the crystal. Why? I want to feel the power. No. I want to feel the aura. I might be going to Dubai in a couple of weeks. Yeah, mm. yeah. But can you take me? You're going to take the bird. Oh, wait. Are we, are we going to still say bird? <laughs> You're not allowed to say that now. I'm pretty sure the comments said say from whatever. Females. It, it wasn't. You can so, take your girlfriend. What? Who? Is she your girl? Okay, can, can we just get can to the bottom of this? Is it your girlfriend? No. So can I come? No, yeah, so can the I boys come? I don't know if I've... What? Oh, who, would you, who would you prefer to go on holiday with? The boys or this girlfriend that you've got? Oh. Well, I've taken Luke... No yeah, so now, that, we, now we've got to do Dubai. Where have you taken me? You. Norway. Yeah, he did take you to Norway. All expenses what, and paid. and I gave you free views. <laughs> All expensive paid trip to Norway. Wait, the thing is, I wouldn't talk to you like that. Wait, I've taken, I've fucking taken you everywhere. Have you? Yeah. Taken me everywhere. I've taken you everywhere. Wait, where <laughs> have you taken me? Um, to the fucking path to greatness. <laughs> <laughs> you took me to the festival. <laughs> <laughs> you were just <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> we're gonna go film Billy Winger over the F two today. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
I actually it was a good festival. No, though. I shouldn't have said. I should have said. Um, by the way, that for those of you that don't know, <laughs> ages ago, I <laughs> surprised Theo with tickets to a festival. No, that sounded not great for a good time. I covered it like cause I wanted to surprise him by saying we're going to film with the F two boys. <laughs> And in reality, you actually want, would have preferred to have filmed with them. And you were gutted uh, that you were going to some festival <laughs> and left early. Uh, that was the train reason, though. Yeah, but Why he, did I leave earlier, though? I would never have done that now. Yeah, in it. No, but you like, didn't really drink and you were a bit like Star We got, we got hammered on that day. No, you didn't. Yeah. I did. You, you sort of had two copper bucks. <laughs> two copper bucks. Yeah, where else have you taken me? I think he got you confused with me. Um, I would. Really, I'd like to come. That'd be fun. Th Oi, think of our last trip. Mate, you we no, no, no. You ruined it on the last trip. On that flight home. Didn't you say there was someone that um <laughs> tried it on with you that said that <laughs> 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 that said they were <laughs> who was it? Who was it? <laughs> who was it? <laughs> wait, why are you? Telling, why are you doing? What, wait, wasn't you with her mum and she fancied you? <laughs> And you did you did you get with her? <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> what? Let's say it for us all to hear. Look, is this it? No. <laughs> what? No. No. Why? Whispering is it? Why can't? Why are we doing this? Just let him tell you in your ear. Yes. Okay. One second, guys. Yeah. yeah but why? Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? No. Just. No, because it was. No, I actually want to fucking combat this, right? Um, we can't. We can't say it now. No, no, we can. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> oh. and, also, and also, he didn't get with them. Yeah, obviously, he, <laughs> he didn't has, get with them. has a girlfriend. Oh yeah, is that the reason? If you didn't, <laughs> if you didn't, stop leaning back on your chair. I paid good money for these. Um. You're a cock. <laughs> now nah, listen. Um, but, but on the way home, this fucking idiot, because we were sat in the couple seat in business class. So the couple they, seat. No, they a, called it the love seat. <laughs> no, they didn't. That was the, that was <laughs> the you two called it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was the love seat. No, it's what you kept calling it. I was like, Luke, shut up. Um, obviously, this man loves a free drink. When it's free, when it's anything's free, he will lap it up. And in the business, you get free champagne. Just. Ooh, Unlimited in the business, in the business. Uh, and also we had a divide. Where were you? Go where were you guys going? In the why? Why were you there on the in way back from? <laughs> but why? Where were you? What were you? Do what, were you what were you doing? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, why are you laughing? Where we going on a little couples holiday? What were you doing? No. <laughs> Oh my God, oh, we did get some nice Dude. pictures in the pool, actually, together. <laughs> what were you doing? I was I, I didn't get invited, so I don't know what you were doing. No, he was my cameraman. For what? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, why is this? Wait, wait, no, wait, no, Tom, no, no, Tom, no, you don't have to do anything. Joe, no, no, Joe, you have to. You, Tom, cut out that laugh. That okay? I know. No, no, no. I'm being serious. We are being absolutely serious. Three, two, one, go. We were there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me start again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why can't we keep this in? It's funny. It was called. So we were there for. Sorry. I think. Okay. What we do? Okay. No, no. Do you know what? So that we can keep this in, just don't say what it is. Right. We're keeping all that That's in. That's going to be hard to edit, Tom. Uh, yeah, sorry. Tom. Sorry. But we'll anyways, have to that bit. on that, we're going to end this waffling episode. No, I need to say what he did on the way home. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. Right. So this is important. This is really okay. so anticlimactic. So on the way home, we had a couple seat and the divider. There's a lot. And he got so, he got so drunk, uh, he kept. It's going to sound fucking crap. <laughs> he kept putting the divider down. <laughs> And come in and say hello. <laughs> and he just wanted to say hello and I didn't want to talk to him. So I kept putting it up and he <laughs> put it down. And I'm mad to slobber knocker. We're going to end the episode. Oh it's a great story, brother. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed it. Never. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you very soon. Hey.